I have really got to stop buying books because I said I was just gonna put these books in a different book haul but then I, they just kept coming and I kept buying and I just have a problem and <sighs> okay so if you can't guess it's a book haul I have another February book haul um I didn't think I'd get all these I had like two or three and I was just gonna put them in the next book haul but then I just kept getting them and they kept coming in the mail and <laughs> I have a problem and I need to be stopped like is there a group therapy session I can go to for this like ugh. and I'm hot and I'm stressed and I ugh. Probably, guys probably don't even care but I have a job interview today which is Thursday so when this video is up I already had have had my job interview this is my first job and I'm like stressing out and so like I'm sweating and I'm hoping this filming a video will help me calm down because it normally does so anyway I'm rambling I hope you probably y'all probably don't even care so we're just gonna get right on to it with the first book I have like 10 books to show you and whatnot so the first book I had to show you is the retribution of Mara Dyer that's hard for me to say by Michelle Hopkins um I recently read the second one which will be in my wrap up and I'm, I'll talk more about it then but this is the third and final book in that trilogy and I'm really excited to be finishing this trilogy because I really really enjoyed the second one and the second one ended on such a cliffhanger and so I'm super excited to get to this one and find out what happens tomorrow. And the next book I have is Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. This is the Vampire Academy spinoff series about Sydney. And this is the first book and it's kind of bent and stuff but I bought it at a used bookstore because I never seem to have it at Books A Million and so I saw it and I, of course I bought it and I'm super excited to read this. I'll probably read this really soon because most people know I love the Vampire Academy series and all I know about this book is that it follows Sydney and I know Adrian's in it so that's all I know about this book. And the next book I have is I also got from that same bookstore. I only got two there and that is Zeros by Scott Westerfield. Margo Lanigan and Deborah Bencott. I, I don't know, but it's by three different people. Um, all I know is about this book is about these kids who have these superpowers, but they're not really heroes, so they call call them zeros. Um, and like they they were a group or whatnot, and like the leader of the group has to get everybody back together because stuff happens. I think that's what it's about. I'm not too sure. Um, I just read Superpowered Humans, and that was all I knew so that's all I need to know because I love super powered humans and the next book I have here is Rogue Knight by Brandon Mull this is the sequel to um Sky Raiders which is this is the second book in the Five Kingdoms series um I read the Sky Raiders this month as well and I'll put it in my wrap up and talk more about it then but this this series follows a boy named Cole who um something happens on Halloween and he follows his friends that have been taken to the outskirts and he gets taken as well he gets sold as a slave and then stuff goes from there he meets some new friends along the way and he has to help them before he can help his friends and whatnot and it's just so much fun to read. Brandon Mull is one of my favorite authors now he's just amazing at writing these really cre creative worlds these might be middle grade but they're some of like the best books I've ever read and I would really recommend this series. Um, a lot of people say start with Beyonders or Fablehaven. I haven't read Fablehaven, but I wouldn't start with Beyonders because Beyonders is really, really heavy. But this one isn't. I really, if you want to read Brandon Mole, check out the Five Kingdom series. And this next book, I also got, a, got out of used bookstore, but a different one. Because I recently found out that I have a used bookstore in my hometown that I didn't know we had. So I got The Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket, which is the first book in the series of Unfortunate Events. I would have got more but they only had like this one the fourth one and like the 11th and 12th I think I think there's like 13 books in the series so I just went ahead and got this one because it's becoming a TV show on Netflix and I really want to read these books before I watch the TV show or at least read a couple of them before I see the TV show I'm super excited to read it because they're a lot of people's childhood favorites and so yeah and this next book I have is The Young World by Chris Wheats Wets um this is like a apocalyptic dystopian book. I know all I know is a sickness sweeps this city and these teenagers have to find out what happened. Okay, so they're trying to find a cure for this sickness and whatnot and so 
this group of teenagers goes on this adventure but these tribes are involved i love books with tribes in them it's like one of my favorite things so i'm really really excited to read this and then this next book i have is um valiant i don't know who it's by because these books are by various authors but this is the second book of this um of the merlin tv series you know there's books um here's the first one this is the first one this one's the second one um I really love the Merlin TV show is my favorite TV show of all time so I'm excited to read this I'll probably read it really soon they're really quick because they're just like the TV shows and whatnot and, and so I'm really happy to have this and I just I love Merlin so much and this last thing I had to show you is a box set of the first three books in a series and that is the first three books in the Heroes of Olympus series um I recently finished the Percy Jackson series and that will be my wrap up as well but um i really wanted to just get the lost hero but at my bookstore they only did they didn't have the lost hero by itself and so my mom was in a really good mood apparently and said just to get this because it was only like 25 dollars. so she just bought me this whole first three in the box set and i'm really excited to read these i'm just really excited to read these i loved um the percy jackson series i'm so glad somebody finally talked me into reading it again and i'm super excited to get to these I'm really happy for some more Nico because Nico is one of my favorite characters in the Percy Jackson series besides Percy Jackson himself but yeah I'm super excited to find out about all these characters and read more of Rick Riordan's work. So those are the rest of the books I got this month. Um, hopefully my book haul won't be that big next month because I have so many books on my TBR shelf. I need to just read them and get them off my shelf. But yeah, that's all for today's video. And I hope you're having a great day and bye.